In this video, you'll get an overview of AWS Private Marketplace. You'll see how you, as an administrator, can create a private marketplace, curate a list of approved third-party software that adheres to your organization's policies, and manage software requests. You'll also see the end-user experience of using Private Marketplace. AWS Private Marketplace is a customized digital catalog that includes authorized software products from AWS Marketplace. Private Marketplace enables administrators to help their end users quickly access the software tools they need while ensuring third-party software is vetted and approved through the organization's internal policies. Enabling a private marketplace is a one-time action, which administrators need to do from their management account. To get started, let's create a private marketplace on behalf of our organization. Our private marketplace is now created, but notice that it isn't live yet. Before adding any products, Let's customize the branding for our Private Marketplace. Private Marketplace profile customization options include the ability to set your logo, name, description, and theme color. We'll upload our sample logo to our Private Marketplace. We'll also provide a custom Marketplace name. We can change the theme color of the global header to match our company's branding. Now that we have customized the branding, end users will clearly know that they are in our organization's private marketplace. We are now ready to start adding products from AWS Marketplace to our catalog of approved software products. With Private Marketplace, we can choose from thousands of listings in AWS Marketplace to create a curated list of products for end users to purchase. We can search and filter the AWS Marketplace software catalog by vendor name, delivery method, operating system, or pricing plan. We'll search for a vendor that our organization has vetted and add the product to our private marketplace catalog. The products have been added to our private marketplace. Now let's ensure that they show up in our list of approved products by navigating to the tab labeled Your Private Marketplace Product. As expected, the products are listed. We are now ready to go live with our private marketplace. Once private marketplace is live, our end users will be governed by the products approved in their private marketplace. Any existing active subscriptions will not be impacted by making the private marketplace live, even if the existing subscription is to a product not included in our private marketplace. Now let's go to the private marketplace product listing view. By default, administrators are presented with a full listing of products available in AWS Marketplace. Once the private marketplace is enabled, the filter Approved Products and the badging Approved for Procurement become visible. As an administrator, we can also add products to our private marketplace from this view. Let's filter for business applications and add another product to our catalog. The red banner indicates that this product is not currently a part of our private marketplace catalog. Let's add the product now. This WordPress product is now approved in our private marketplace catalog. Let's confirm that the product is listed. As we can see, the WordPress product is on the list. Now let's switch to the perspective of an end user who is governed by the set of approved products provided in the private marketplace. End users with the appropriate AWS Identity and Access Management permissions will be greeted with this view. The custom branding on the page lets us know we are visiting the organization's private marketplace. We are presented with a filtered view of the products curated by the private marketplace administrator. We can easily filter the list to find and procure approved software. From here, we can click Accept Terms to continue to product configuration and provisioning. Let's search for an unapproved product to see how the private marketplace policy is enforced. The red banner at the top of the page says the product was declined for procurement, but we can create a request for approval. This software request functionality is an optional feature that can be enabled or disabled by administrators. We'll simply provide our email and reason for the request, and then submit it. Once the request is submitted, we can view its status from the Product Details page. Now, let's return to the perspective of the administrator and respond to the end user's request. 
We'll navigate to our list of pending requests. We'll select the end user's request. Now we can choose to add the product to the private marketplace, decline the request, or view more details. Let's review the request details. From here, we can see who is asking for this product and why. We can also review the product page and pricing information. Let's add this product to our private marketplace. Now this product is available for all end users. Let's return to the administrator view of approved products. We can see that the product has been added successfully. From this view, we can choose to remove products from the private marketplace catalog, which prevents end users from subscribing to the product. We have successfully removed a product from our private marketplace catalog. Note that end users with existing subscriptions can continue using products that have been removed from the private marketplace catalog. However, they won't be able to change or renew their subscriptions until the product is approved in the private marketplace. Now let's return to the end user's perspective. Let's check on the status of the product request we submitted earlier. We can see that the product has been added to the private marketplace. Let's view the approval details to see the approval decisions made by the administrators. Now that the product is approved, let's subscribe to the product. As you can see, we are now allowed to subscribe to the product as an end user. We've just seen an overview of AWS Private Marketplace. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.